everybody, and welcome to the Arkham Files Season 3. I am Dr. Henderson. I am Dr. Boos. And today we have the final episode in the series. Um, it's been three years that we've done this. Yes. Um, and we st- we went through went through most of the big villains and a few obscure ones. And I, it took me a bit to figure out what the best file would be to go over for the finale. Um, and I ended up going with Dr. Jeremiah Arkham, the head of Arkham Asylum. Um, I originally was going to go with Batman, but then he is way too long of a... F- <laughs> I was like, never mind. You know, I kind of forgot about that. I forgot we were going to go over Batman at one point as the finale. Yeah, I changed my mind. Maybe we'll go over the Hall Hall of Justice files or something. I don't don't know. (laughs) The Watchtower files. No. That would not be what I named it if we did that. What would Um, would you name it if you, Mr. Smarty Pants? What would you name it? It wouldn't be files. Oh, it would be. See. It would be like, oh, um, the Justice League Co- or the Hall of Justice Codex. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, see, there you go. He didn't come up with that, did you? I did. You know what? Hang on. Um. Never mind. I was just trying to look it up, but I can't. Anyway. Oh. Wow. Um. Yes, let's go ahead and get into the case file of Jeremiah Arkham. I'm going to assume that you know nothing about this character. I, I know jack squat about him. Um, You probably know Amadeus Arkham. Yes, I did that um, trophy in his, Arkham Asylum. <laughs> his uh, late uncle. Oh, I see um, what it who is. Who is technically the person who founded Arkham, who named um, Arkham. But mm. we're going with Jeremiah, because I think he's more of a villain. Yeah. Um, and he has a longer list. Here we go. Jeremiah Arkham is a fictional supervillain and the head of Ar- Arkham Asylum in DC Comics, created by Alan Grant. Arkham was created in 1992 and slowly, quote, lost his mind during his time in the Arkham Asylum, subsequently becoming the second Black Mask. Though described as a sadist, Arkham seems to believe his intentions are for the benefit of his patients. Arkham was created by Alan Grant and Norm Brayfogle and first appeared in Batman Shadow of the Bat number one in 1992. In his first appearance, Batman was committed to the asylum for allegedly killing a police officer. In this issue, Dr. Arkham is shown to believe he can convince the Batman to willingly reveal his identity to him. After Batman No Man's Land, Shadow of Bat was replaced by Batman Gotham Knights. In the course of about 200 comics, Jeremiah's original character was flanderized, turning from a compassionate doctor who believed he could cure any patient to an obsessed manic wreck. In reference to his childhood, the Joker held a gun to Arkham and forced him to watch the inmates leave the asylum after an attack from Bane, while the Joker tried to scare the administrator into madness, who was later saved by Batman. Arkham's Black Mask is still canon and has been, quote, floating around since the early 2000s, visible on the Batman Universe podcast. I've never heard of it. Yeah, never although, heard of it either. <laughs> although remaining canon, Jeremiah isn't usually the Black Mask used in films and media, including the Arkham game series where he wasn't mentioned. Jeremiah's obscurity has been his downfall, with his latest comic appearance in DC's Rebirth in 2016. Jeremiah inherited the asylum from his late uncle Amadeus Arkham, who named the asylum in wake of his dead mother, Elizabeth Arkham. It's believed to be named after the fictional Arkham, Massachusetts. Jeremiah was driven mad by the belief he could cure every patient, stemming from his teenage years when he talked a gunman down. The savior complex led to trouble in his adulthood when he attempted to send his prisoners to attack the Batman, who had admitted himself to the hospital to stop, to stop the criminal Victor Zaz. Zaz was secretly freed by a contractor for a bribe, and he used the time outside to murder the citizens of Gotham. And but that, but When thwarted by Batman, an enraged Jeremiah sent Amygdala, Riddler, and other inmates to attack the Batman. So, I mean, you have this character who has control over all of these inmates when they're in his, pos- his care. Yeah. And so he can get them to do whatever. <laughs> yeah. He's essentially yeah. Amanda Waller, but for Arkham Asylum. Yeah, just about. Uh, okay, but here's this fictional character biography. Shadow of the Bat is the first appearance of Jeremiah. In the story, a contractor releases Victor Zaz, enabling Zaz's murder spree shortly after. 
When the Batman discovers the bodies, he re recognizes Zaz's killing pattern, although it was known that Zaz was in the asylum. Eventually, Batman finds the escape. Oh, finds the escape the contractor left Victor and captures it. When Jeremiah discovers Batman had not only feigned insanity, but also stopped Zaz's exposure therapy, he's enraged and releases patience on Batman, most notably Amygdala, who Jeremiah was manipulating in Riddler. I don't know who Amygdala is. No, yeah, I've never heard of them. <laughs> um, oh, it's some giant guy. It's like Bane. Oh, uh, okay. Um, in Nightfall, Bane breaks an Arkham Asylum and frees the inmates as Joker holds Jeremiah at gunpoint. Joker drives Jeremiah to near insanity until the Batman saves him. In No Man's Land, Jeremiah heads to the ruins of Arkham and finds his late uncle Amadeus's journal. Jeremiah decides to rebuild Arkham Asylum in his uncle's image. While the asylum is finishing renovations, workplace accidents begin to pile up, including Killer Croc's tank filtration rupturing. Mr. Freeze's room gets warmer, along with the Raggedy Man being freed. Later on, Alice Sinner is shown to be having sexual relations with Black Mask, plus Roman Sionis. Oh. Alice then returns... I don't know, that's a strange side note. Alice then returns to the asylum and projects Amadeus Arkham's voice to incite a riot with the uh, inmates. After Batman returns to the, in the inmates to their cells, Raggedy Man is then found dead, which upsets Jeremiah deeply. Later, it's revealed that this is part of the Black Mask's plan to defeat the Warden of Arkham. Afterwards, Arkham is put into a cell and it's revealed that his personal patients... Okay, I don't know what I'm about to read, but I've never heard of these people. <laughs> okay. Arkham is put into a cell, and it's revealed that his personal patients, like the Hamburger Lady and No-Face, were all figments of his imaginations. Um, Arkham Files Season 4? Who's the Hamburger <laughs> Lady? The, the Hamburger Lady. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what she looks like. Hold up. Oh, the hamburgerer, but a lady. Uh -huh. Myrna Frude. It's a lady with severe facial deformities. Oh, is it saying like her face is like hamburger meat? Is that what it's saying? I, I guess. Oh, all right. Um. Okay. Um. In battle for the cow, Arkham is causing mass destruction in Gotham, even exploding Arkham Asylum. This is his first appearance as Black Mask as, as it is activated after hearing of Batman's death and threatened escapees with acidic nanites of Blackgate Penitentiary to join him as he raises chaos in Gotham. His new scheme of new false of a new false face society didn't last. After Firefly found out about the nanites and burned them out, forcing Mask to flee from him, but the new Batman and Robin, with only Zaz becoming his new associate. In 2011, the New 52 rebooted the DC Universe. When the Talons attack the Asylum, Dr. Arkham gives Sionis his mask back to telepathically influence the inmates into attacking the Talons and keep anyone from following Arkham to his safe room. Black Mask then attempts to use his abilities on Batman, but fails and is forced to escape the Asylum. In 2016, DC Comics implemented another relaunch of its books called DC Rebirth, which restored its continuity to form much as it was prior to the New 52. Jeremiah, at one point, had sexual relations with Dr. Ingrid Carlson, who gave birth to their child. Then Carlson died during a riot in Arkham. To keep his daughter Astrid Arkham safe, Jeremiah raised her within the walls of the asylum, where she developed a hatred for the Batman, and she later became the Arkham Knight. Okay. And that is the end of his main section. Uh, okay. <laughs> um... um Television appearances. He appeared in the Batwoman episode We're All Mad Here, portrayed by Glenn Ferguson. Um, he's the member of Black Glove. He and the other members of Black Gloves are kidnapped by Marquise Jet, where he kills Arkham off screen. Um, he appeared in Batman Dark Tomorrow, voiced by Ron McLarty, and appeared in Lego Batman the video game, sporting a gray coat and clear glasses in contrast to his usual white lab coat and white glasses, similar to Hugo Strange. Arkham's Lego minifigure in the game can only be unlocked on the Nintendo DS version. Oh, I was like, I don't remember him from the game, but then there's a DS version. Gotcha. Yeah, Batman Dark Tomorrow, that was a, I think it was like an Xbox game. Like an like a original Xbox game. Huh, GameCube, too. Oh, it was a GameCube? GameCube well? and Xbox in 2003. Okay. Yeah, I think the game sucked, apparently. I think, I think it did. Apparently it did. Um, but that uh, is the case file of Dr. Jeremiah Arkham. Um, well, that 
Sorry, I'm I'm a little. Yeah, I know. Keep looking little... around to see <laughs> to see if um, you know, we're gonna have a League of Assassins. I mean, we have. Time. We've at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. We've had probably the worst luck ever. I mean, we in the span of three years, we got hired to do this show. We were um, shot both by an escaped inmate during a prison escape. Yep, still. Then I from tried that. to. Then I tried to um, leak some stuff about something that I'm not going to talk about right now for fear of my life. <laughs> or and we were stabbed. And miraculously yeah. survived. Yeah. And now, nothing is happening. Yeah. Kinda we were attacked by Scarecrow the other week. Yeah, some, but I guess too early to call for that. <laughs> you know, well, just too early, you know. And that was um, yeah, kind of ending on a whimper, I guess. With us yeah. not, well, I don't know. I guess it could Wait be all right. Just, just got to memo sent here from professor strange one second okay turns out that we have a patient interview we have to do next week for a jane doe all right well here let's clock out and prepare for that coming up soon yeah okay well ladies and gentlemen we are going to go ahead and get out of here thank you so much for joining us for the Arkham Files. This was a heck of a fun show. And who knows what we have planned in the future for stuff similar to this. Um, because there is stuff planned. Yep. Um, I wanted to just read through the list of all of the thing, all of the episodes that we've done. Just to just to see here. I think I'm missing one actually. Now that I'm looking on here. Okay. Who do you so, believe we're missing? I don't know. <laughs> it says one video is unavailable. Huh. Uh, but when we did the Joker, it was the very first episode. Two-Face, Riddler, Mr. Freeze, Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, Penguin, Bane, The Mad Hatter, Clayface, Rachel Ghoul, Catwoman, Hugo Strange, Harley Quinn, The Ventriloquist, Killer Croc, Professor Pig, and The Court of Owls. Hang on. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, that's right. And then Hush, Black Mask, Man Bat, Deadshot, Solomon Grundy, Calendar Man, Firefly, James Gordon Jr., and finally, Jeremiah Arkham. Um, three seasons, nine episodes each, and we thank everybody who tuned in to all of them. Um, had a lot of fun doing it. And mm -hmm. yeah. But we got to prepare for this interview. So we're going to head out. Thank you so much. And we will see you all sometime. Bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>